time now for The Ridiculous, and tonight we welcome to the list first daughter-in-law, Lara Trump. Now, normally we wouldn't mention the family member of a president, but she's made herself a very public figure with a public role in the campaign. Who says the president can't hire family members? They do it in dictatorships all the time, and it works great for them. So why not here? We're not that different, are we? Mrs. Trump is now a senior advisor to the Trump re-election campaign. Okay. She's married to the president's son, Eric. Eric's wedding planner, by the way, who was a longtime Trump Organization employee, was given a job at the Department of Housing and Urban Development. According to ProPublica, Larry Trump's brother was also reportedly given a job at the Energy Department. Well, this morning on Varney and Company, a show on Fox Business Network, Larry Trump was, of course, appearing, because, you know, that's what she does, and praising the Trump administration's decision to make it more difficult for people fleeing domestic violence or gang violence in Central America to ask for asylum here in America. Oh, she also doesn't like all those Syrian people who fled the war and ended up in Germany. And she expressed her dislike and her concern in a way that proves once again, you don't have to be born into the Trump family to share the president's remarkable grasp of world history. That videotape reminds me of what happened in Europe when yeah. there was a march across Europe by a right. million people who yeah. wanted to get into Western Europe. Angela Merkel let them in, open borders, and let them in. It was the downfall of, of Germany. It, it was it one really of was. the worst things that ever happened to Germany. This president knows that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. The downfall of Germany. It was one of the worst things that ever happened to Germany. So says Lara Trump senior campaign advisor to the President of the United States, who, she also now says, agrees with her belief that refugees are one of the worst things that ever happened to Germany. So there's a lot to unpack. Uh, number one, Germany hasn't fallen. Uh, she says it's, you know, led to the downfall of Germany. It's right where it's always been. It's right there. I've been there on vacation. It's doing just fine. As for refugees in Germany being one of the worst things to ever happen in Germany, Come on, come on, really? I mean, I know she said one of, but even that. I mean, look, if you don't know what the downfall of Germany really was, here's what you do. You ask a fifth grader, maybe even a fourth grader, a really smart third grader, or how about anyone who knows anything about World War II or the Nazis? And you don't equate anything else with it. You don't go on cable television and just riff about the downfall of Germany, the worst thing that ever happened to Germany. In fact, maybe just stick to your own make-believe newscast on YouTube. Hey everybody, I'm Laura Trump. Thanks so much for joining us to hear all about the President's Week. Real news. That's actually on YouTube, that actually exists, that's real. I mean, it's. It exists in the sense that it's real. It's not, well, you know. She's a senior advisor and, it turns out, a TV personality in an alternative universe called Real News Update. It's a good example of what happens when, like, politics reaches the crossroads of authoritarianism in the cast of Dynasty. Though, I'm not sure which character she is. I do highly recommend that YouTube channel if you like your campaign propaganda, like you like your Trump stakes, heavy on branding, light on sourcing, and available through the sharper image. Remember, the sourcing of the Trump stakes was, I believe it was various countries in Europe or various places in Europe. I can't remember the exact phrasing that he, uh, oh, that was the vodka? Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. I mixed my, mix up my failed Trump branded products. Now, to be fair, Lara Trump does have a background in television. She used to work for the syndicated show Inside Edition, which, by the way, is now hosted by Deborah Norville, who's someone I know and really like a lot. She's wonderful and smart, so talented, and I'm very happy she's back on air. She's terrific. The old Inside Edition was hosted by someone else entirely. No. We'll do it live! Do it live! I can, I'll write it and we'll do it live! <laughs> Thing sucks! Okay, so that happened. That was classic. Uh, anyway, Lara Trump uh, left that gig. She's now got this gig. I should also point out she's a vocal advocate for rights for animals, wild horses, and others, which is great, commendable. I love animals. I think it's awesome she does that, using her platform to speak out for those who can't speak. Awesome. I would just point out human beings are good too. And we can debate immigration, legal and otherwise, but let's not forget there are people's lives at stake. Aren't all good people? Many of them are, and they're in fear for their lives. Again, you can debate the issues, but let's just have a common basis point. These are human beings. 
This administration may at times have you believe otherwise. As a student of history and an expert on geopolitics and humanitarian emergencies, Larry Trump maybe has a long way to go. As a campaign envoy, she has firmly set up shop on the ridiculous. Welcome.